35 now and finding the best jobs, going on job interviews, trying to move up in your career, it can all seem like a pretty tedious process. But Scott Wintrip, author of High Velocity Hiring, How to Hire Top Talent in an Instant, is here this morning to tell us how this process can be easy and he joins us this morning with some simple tips. Good morning to you. Good morning, Atria. You know, the, the idea of trying to advance your career or maybe make a, an entire career change, it is a really daunting task. And the, the interviewing process, it's very, you know, it's, it's a, it is a long, tedious process. Where should people start? Uh, <clears throat> I, I like that you say it's tedious. In some ways, I think it's kind of like dating. It can be yeah. tedious and yes. scary. So if you think about that analogy, the place to start is really think about what you want to achieve. So if you're looking for the, the perfect match in dating, you'd think about who you want to be with. It's the same thing on the job front as well. Who's the, the right employer? Who's a fit for you and your career and what you're looking to do? And you actually say that you should find companies that you believe in. Why? Uh, because uh, it's not going to work if you don't. If you can't believe in a relationship, be it a personal relationship or an employment relationship, it's going to be very hard to get out of bed each day and go to work versus if you believe in the relationship, you're going to leap out of bed or at least get out without grumbling and want to go to the place you're going to work each day. Okay, so let's say we've, we've narrowed down where we want to work, or at least the industry that we want to work. Where's the best place to find some of those jobs? I think uh, you are a great example about this, and we were talking about it before the segment, is you sought out the Washington Wizards, mm -hmm. and you wanted to get to D.C., and you found an employer that fit you. Now, you didn't get the job you thought you were going for. It was a different job, but you sought out an organization that was attractive to you. I think job seekers should do the same thing. You can certainly look for jobs online, but I think you should look for companies that you resonate with. What are they doing out in the marketplace? What, how are they making the marketplace or the community better? And go to those companies first. Interesting. Okay. So so let's talk about you've you've landed an interview hmm. which is tough in its own right but yes, before the interview how much homework should you do how much should you research that company we are you know the age of the internet we can be researching a lot of things so you can certainly re research their website but you should research the people you're going to talk to so I certainly looked you up before this interview this is an interview too I wanted to know who I'm talking to because an interview is a conversation it's a dialogue between two people if I have a head start it, knowing about the Washington Wizards we can start the conversation there and grow it from there so research the company but also the people as well is one of the best things somebody can do to prepare and you you say to say a little and ask a lot uh, yeah. in so the interview. In the, well, yeah, and that's the opposite of don't blab. <clears throat> now, uh, you and I are in the, no offense, in the uh -huh. business of blabbing. Right. We, we run our mouths for a living. In an interview, it is death to your career. It's a death to your future. Uh, companies don't want people who are going to come in and run their mouth and talk about how great they are the entire time. They need people who can listen, who can dialogue, who can solve problems. So don't blab, say little and ask lots of really good questions is a great way to show interest and show that you can speak succinctly as well. Because you need to show you're as interested in the company as they oh, yeah. maybe potentially are in you. What yep. can someone do to stand out in an interview and what can some, what is the absolute kiss of death in an interview. Well, besides don't blab, <clears throat> the kiss of death is to do what I call the tell, sell, and swell. So you tell the interviewer what you think they want to hear, sell the best parts of yourself, and then try and swell their ego. That's what all interviews look like. Instead, <clears throat> I suggest to people offer proof, not promises. So if, if we were uh, interviewing for a sales role, you're mm -hmm. the interviewer, I'm the interviewee, and, and you're interviewing me for sales, and you ask me, how do I sell? I would say to you instead, let me show you. You be the buyer, I'll be the seller. Let me show you how I sell. It actually speeds up the process. I'm proving to you that I can do the job versus interviews are often about talking about doing work, which is not a very good indicator of somebody's fit. Interesting, okay. And um, what questions should I be asking my potential employer? Well, there's two types. Uh, you know, the first one is <clears throat> very simple ones like, why me? What was it about my resume that interested you? Another one is, why now? Why is this a good time? Another of my favorites at the beginning is, what are your objectives for our conversation? That really shows as, as a candidate that I get that this is a mutual dialogue. Mm -hmm. And then lastly, anything that you say, I should flip that into further questions to dig deeper. It shows I'm listening, it shows my interest, and it allows me to really have a deeper, more meaningful conversation. How long should people uh, a lot to find a job. How long would be a good amount of time for them to expect it's going to take to find a good job? Typically months, not weeks, unfortunately. And, and what I say to people often is, whenever possible, plan ahead. Uh, it, it's easier to find a job when you're employed, and you certainly still have to do it if you're unemployed. Mm -hmm. But you know, the position of power that, that interviewees are in is when they have a job right now. You can take more time. You may not be in an ideal situation, but you can give yourself the time you need to find the right thing. All right, and the book, High Velocity 
Velocity Hiring. It is available now everywhere? It is, yes. All Just right. came out. Thank you so much. Appreciate uh, you, all Audrey. the tips. And best of luck to all the job seekers out there. Hey,